The next position will be using the techniques in the standing, but also could be used in a seated position. So this section where we're standing, and also you could be in a seated position, we're going to use various tools. So the first set is a broomstick, a baseball bat via my vanity leg, and then a rolling pin, which also, if you have a stick, will be comparable. So with a broomstick, place your hands behind your back, and then you're going to roll. This works really well in this position for the low back area. And then you can have your broomstick on your forearm to go higher into your back. So you can slide and roll. So this is a good general technique to warm up the back area. And then you can also rotate it on an angle to get more onto the side of the back area. So you're getting the lats, you're getting serratus, you're getting into QL, just above the hip area here, and serratus posterior inferior. So that's with a broomstick. Very similar to um, a bat. Same type of format as with the broomstick. Generally, you're doing the whole back, warming up very nicely. And same type of maneuver as with the broomstick, angling it so you're working on the outer part of the back muscles. And the rolling pin. I like the rolling pin because the handle stays stationary while it rolls. So in the back area, a little side to side. So it's not as broad as a broomstick or a bat, but at least my hands are staying stationary. And then at the side. And if you can, you can get higher, but it doesn't get all the way down to the back. So you may need to go vertical in order to get the upper back muscles. So these are some of the tools that you can use with a stick, baseball bat, and a rolling pin as a general technique. Again, you could also have done that in a seated position. Now we'll move into using a hockey stick. So I have here is a hockey stick. This uh, will take its place instead of what we call a theracane. Um, a theracane is a nice massage tool that people could use to reach around their back. It has different knobs on it, so it could work really well with pressure points and getting into the back inside of the muscles. But if you don't have that, we have the massage stick as well as a hammer with a tennis ball at the end of it, at the, at the head of the hammer in its place. So first with a hockey stick. You place the hockey stick, the blade part, the top of it on your back like so. So I'm gonna reposition myself and you can see it here. So you can see that it works on the side of the back and it works really well on the, the side here. So the back and the side. So moving up and down and also rotating the stick to get an angle of the self massage. And I could also go sideways as well. I go up and down the back. And another thing you could do is you could rotate into the stick. As you rotate in the stick, the top of the blade will take the muscle that is um, addressing and pull it this way. So it'll be rotating in and the top of the stick will take the muscle this way. And now I'm getting into the QL. I pull the stick this way. So the blade gets right into uh, the QL area as well as the erectors. 
moving side to side. Then you can use the stick for the trapezius muscle. Again, the top of the stick is on the trapezius and you're pressing in, you're rotating the stick to do a little bit of kneading in the muscle and moving the stick up and down to cause a vertical type of motion. So moving up and down. So that's how to use the stick. And now we'll go and using the hammer. One. Okay. So with a hammer, I put a tennis ball at the head just to give a little bit of more comfort. So this it works well um, in its place of a theracane. So I position the hammer right in the back, have my opposite arm on the handle, and I pull the hammer towards the muscle and moving up and down and also side to side. So I get right into the low back, the QL just above the hip area right here. So this is my erectors and just outside of the erectors that's where QL is very um, palpable right in that area. And then I can move upward so this is where the lats, serratus posterior, inferior, and the outer portion of the erector spinae attach to the ribs. Then that's where I find it could get very sticky. So I'm moving side to side and you can move up and down. Now, what you can also do is rotate your body to the side of the hammer to get more on the side muscles like lats in this position. this position, as well as bringing the hand behind the back and having the hammer head right in QL. So it pulls in to the muscle. And you can have the other hand on top of the tennis ball to apply more pressure into the QL, the abdominals, which covers the QL area. Then I get into the ribs. And what I could do is I could rotate my, my body towards the window and my hammer will be pulling away from the window. So I'm in this position because I'm working on the right side, I'm rotating left and the hammer is pulling um, contrary to that. So I'm getting the lats. in the outer portion of the erector spinae. Now another use for the hammer is for trapezius muscle, as well as underneath the trapezius is supraspinatus, part of the rotator cuff muscle, and the levator scapula, which attaches from the shoulder blade to the neck area. So I place the hammer like so, right in the trapezius muscle, and it gets into other deeper muscles. Moving forward and backward. And now I'm getting into the traps where supraspinatus is. So right here is the, is the bony part of the shoulder blade, and above that is supraspinatus, and also upper trapezius. So I'm massaging that area and right in this corner here where upper traps and um, attaches to and supraspinatus goes underneath the bone can also get very sticky. So I'm having the hammer work around those bony structures there. Like so. So it's a really good tool to use. And now we'll be uh, moving into specific tools like this, uh, the wedge shape of the wooden spatula and the end point of the wooden spoon. Now to get more specific and working the muscles in a standing or seated position, we have the wooden spoon, 
the end point, which is a blunt form, as well as the wedge shape of the wooden spatula. This you have to be careful. So the pressure should be moderate to light. And once you get used to the technique, then you can apply the pressure. So in the lower back, you can place the end point right on the erectors, which are located right here. You're moving up and down and side to side. The spine is located here. The erectors are located here. So I go right next to the spine, applying a little bit of pressure moving up and down close to the spine. And then I could venture sideways to get to the QL. So here's the height of the hip, right in that area. And that also will get the obliques and transverse abdominis. And I get right into the attachment on the ribs right here, where lats, serratus posterior inferior, and the outer portion of the erector spine are located. And then I can replace that with the wedge shape of the spatula. This goes right nicely deep into the lamina groove. So your pressure should be moderate to give you time to uh, feel comfortable with the technique. So I'm moving up and down. The side to side. So I'm kind of pushing the inner part of the erectors away from the spine. 